What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How are y'all doing today? Now, what do we got for you today? Today we are in lovely Munns Park, Arizona again. Uh, just came up from Prescott. I was in Prescott yesterday for a few things that you might see on my channel. Um, now I'm just cooling down in this uh, area here, getting away from the Phoenix heat. Now today we're doing an English breakfast with a bit of an American twist to it. There are different ways you can do an English breakfast. Pretty much you need a potato element, whether it's fried potato, hash browns, or fries. Some people will disagree with fries. But uh, I'm gonna do uh, fried up diced potatoes today. And then some sort of egg, so I'm just gonna do fried egg. Um, some people like a scrambled egg, but I'm gonna do fried egg today. Now, also a must, a must in an English breakfast or English fry up is bacon. So we got this hickory smoked bacon we're gonna fry up. And uh, sausages, sausages are definitely in an English breakfast. Um, now, one thing that we're gonna add that's gonna put a bit more of an American twist to this, fried chicken. We're gonna do some fried chicken with this one because I love this fried chicken. I just have it and I need to use it up, so it's gonna go in there. Um, you can put buttered bread or toast with it as well. Traditionally, that goes with a fry up, but um, I'm gonna forego that today because I have so many ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna struggle to eat it all if I have bread as well, but if you wanna do it at home, you can try it with bread. Now, another thing that is pretty much a must in an English fry up breakfast is the baked beans, but these aren't American beans. I got these at the import store. These are your traditional Heinz beans. They're in a type of uh, tomato type sauce. Not common in America. You have to kind of hunt them down. Sometimes if you're in fries, or Kroger, you can actually find these in the import aisle, but they're a bit more expensive. I paid two dollars American for this can at a Asian store, actually. Uh, that's pretty cheap compared because I've seen seen them go as high as five dollars for these tins. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna microwave these. I know some people will cook them up in a pot, but I'm just gonna put them in a bowl and microwave them. So I'm gonna have so many things going on. I've got the fry pan going, I'm gonna have the air fryer going, and I'm gonna have the microwave going. Now, first of all, to get things started off, I'm just gonna go ahead and put stuff into the air fryer. So I'm probably gonna put the uh, chicken and the sausages into the air fryer. Okay, going with the sausages. Now I could put the bacon in here too, which works, but I found that with the bacon in here, with the saltiness, I end up with a ton of uh, crust and stuff and grease stuck all over my air fryer pan and I have to clean it out pretty much every time, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. I just had to spend a ton of time just cleaning this out for this video. Cause there's so much grease from the bacon in there. Okay, we just wanna spread that out a bit so we can get an even fry on everything when we flip it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the air fryer for about seven minutes, flip it, and then another seven minutes. We should be good on that. Okay guys, so that's in the air fryer in the van now. Uh, let's go ahead and start the uh, pan frying up. I'm probably gonna do the egg first or last. Hmm. You know what, actually we're gonna do the bacon and the uh, diced potatoes first. And then when we cook the egg, the egg will cook in the bacon grease and add some flavor. Now, of course, it's been a still morning all morning, and then as soon as I start cooking and filming, the wind has to come in. Story of my life. And yes, I know I need a windscreen for my uh, cooker. I just haven't got around to ordering, uh, ordering that yet. All right, so bacon is gonna start frying up, and then once it's fried up a bit, we're gonna move the potatoes aside, throw the potatoes in, fry those, pull it out, and then fry the egg. Starting to look good, look at that bacon. 
Okay, we put that bacon aside on over there. Oh, and the potatoes. I'm excited, guys. Now, you could uh, put some salt and pepper on that. There's salt in the brine for the potatoes, but I like to help get it a little crispy by putting a bit of salt and a bit of flavor with pepper on there. Uh, I'm not gonna dig out all that today. So I'm just gonna fry it in the bacon grease and hopefully that gets it crispy enough. Alrighty, so uh, we put the uh, potato and bacon in this bowl for now. Uh, I didn't fully crisp up the bacon. Um, sometimes, I know Americans love their bacon absolutely crispy like it's a cracker or something. But in Australia or England, that's not always the case. Sometimes we just fry it up enough. Um, so that's the way I'm going today. It's still gonna be delicious. And all right, we're gonna fry up the egg. One problem though, I've noticed, uh, wind. Um, the potato was sticking on the bottom of the pan. So I've got a layer of crispy bits there. That may be a problem for flipping the egg. So <laughs> hopefully we don't have too much of a problem, but let's go ahead and try. one-handed oh my lord i destroyed it <laughs> it's hard to do one-handed well it's gonna be a bit of a mashed egg this one so i kind of failed on the egg i broke the egg straight from the get-go that's all right maybe i can fold it into like a mini omelet type thing Okay, I was correct on the uh, potato sticking on the bottom. It made it impossible to flip the egg. So we have more of a scrambled egg now. <laughs> I mean, realistically, it doesn't matter how you cook your egg as long as you have an egg on there. It's an English breakfast. And I don't mind scrambled egg at all. Most times I prefer actually scrambled egg over fried egg. But, um, all right, so that's done. We just gotta do the beans now. Ooh, I just had to spray myself in bug repellent because I'm getting eaten by these little biting gnat things. I don't know what they call them out here, but they itch like for weeks when you get bitten by them. They're worse than a mosquito bite. I don't like them at all. So I didn't have any problems with them last night, but today it's getting hot. They've all come back out again. So I just had to spray myself because I'm getting murdered by them. We got beautiful sausages, our chicken, baked beans, potato, egg and bacon. All right guys, that is fairly close to an English fry up. You know, I know some of those English people will um, argue with me on certain things, on how they do theirs and what they think is a traditional. But basically, it's gotta have egg, bacon, potato, beans and sausage. And additionally, I'd probably put buttered white bread with that, but um, I don't have buttered white bread. <laughs> I have butter, but no bread. All right, guys, I'm gonna hook in and eat all this before the bugs get into it. Hopefully you enjoy this if you're watching from America. And if you don't know much about English cuisine, maybe this will give you some inspiration, great little camp meal or something that English people do uh, on the regular at home. So you can try this at home as well. But it's uh, one of my favorites. Me and my dad used to eat this all the time as a special treat, not healthy, it's definitely not healthy. But uh, it's a delicious, delicious meal, especially if you've been out in the town all night and you need something greasy to uh, turn you back to life. All right guys, so that's enough for me. I'm gonna get out of here and eat and let you guys get on with your day. Comment below uh, if you've tried this or if it's something you like to eat, what combinations do you like to do or what's your version of a fry up? Until next time guys, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the sub. And this is Aussie Van Man and we'll see you later. What's going on here?